Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. This is going to be part two of a diamond painting on bagging. This is from a diamond painting, which is the company who so generously sent me 10 diamond paintings. So I unboxed or unbagged five of them in part one and I will link that video below in case you missed that. So we have five more here to go through. So let's just grab one. Look at those purples and blues. <laughs> okay, now, oh my gosh, I'm having so many problems seeing where they open. It's like they don't open anywhere. Hmm. I can't feel anything anywhere. You look on the ends. Oh my goodness. Well, I had to snip a different one open, so I guess that's what we're going to do now. <laughs> oh my goodness. The worst part about doing these unbaggings. Ah, oh, such pretty colors. Look at this. Ah. We have this gorgeous fairy in my favorite colors. So of course I had to pick this one. This is a 30 by 40. There are 24 colors in this. It is a full round. Color key upper left, lower right. We do again have numbers, the symbol, and the DNC code. And again, symbols look awesome. A little bit fuzzy in here. Let me see if those are all the same symbol though. Yes, they're all O's. So that won't be a problem at all then. Okay, all right, standard toolkit, as I stated in part one. Look at it, oh, so pretty. Aha, at least I found the edge of this. And as in part one, these are all kitted up for you. And all these nice baggies, again, they have these big numbers on them to match up with the number on the color key. So that is awesome. Let's take a look at these gorgeous colors. Number eight my favorite number and my favorite color <laughs> purple oh isn't that pretty a little bit of brown kind of a mauve brown pretty lilac color oh, like a sage green deep blue Oh, look at this pretty color. There's quite a few of them. And a dark brown. More purple. Another brown. Doesn't look like there'd be that much brown in here. Maybe it's like her hair. Oh, look at this gorgeous teal. Oh. You know me, love purple and teal together. And then a dark teal. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be gorgeous. There's a teal on the grayer side. So the shading in here is gonna be gorgeous. Dark blue. Oh, bunch of different blues. Another dark blue. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at all these shades. Oh my gosh, another purple, ooh, pretty deep purple, 
dark green, a warm gray, oh, and a lavender. I bet you that'll be up in her wings. Oh, so pretty. Now, I wasn't quite sure truly how this one was going to look because there was a little bit more detail in it. And if you're not familiar with diamond painting, the more detail in a picture, the bigger size you want because otherwise it's going to look really pixelated and you're not going to be too happy with it. Um, but I thought I would give this one a try because the fairy herself is quite large. It's these flowers and stuff up here. I'm not sure. It's on top of this mirror. Um, not sure how those are going to come out. But I think the background and the fairy herself, the majority of it I think is going to come out fine. But yeah, keep that in mind. Um, the more detail, the larger the picture you want. So when I'm picking out pictures um, for smaller size canvases, I try to pick something that doesn't have a lot of detail. When you look at these websites, you will see a lot of pictures that are small in size that have a lot of detail to them. And I try to stay away from them um, because they just don't come out, you know, looking real good. They, it's hard to, you know, see the image itself. Now, when you look at them from back far, very different than when you're working on them this close. So it may look not like, it may not look like a picture at all when you're working on it. But when you look at them from, you're supposed to look at them from at least six feet away, at least. Normally, you're much farther than that even, right? And you'd be surprised the difference, you know, when you look at a picture from farther away. Okay, again, these all come in these. I don't know if I wrap this tight enough to get in here or not. Nope. I'll do that one off camera. <laughs> okay, because that was a little bit of a bigger one. I think this is a 30 by 30. Oh, I found it. I found it. Yay. That's why, again, I wish they came in the white envelopes because they're just so much easier to get in. Well, this is a 30 by 40, but it is a partial special drill. Isn't he adorable? Oh, I thought he was so cute. There are nine different special drills in here so we're going to have some rhinestones and then some larger special drills in here i just thought he was so cute so colorful again you know me in colors oh and this one comes with a tweezers your pen wax and boat let's look at the pretty Special drills, especially, that are fun to look at. Again, if you don't like seeing the drills, you can fast forward through when I show them. So, go through the rhinestones first. Oh, these are so pretty. So we have silver. It's pretty reddish pink. Oh, look at that gorgeous blue. These special drill kits are so much fun to do. And they go really quick. Red orange. Oh my gosh, one of my favorites. That gorgeous. Kind of like a yellow gold. And then, whoa, the larger circles. These are uh, like an AB. I'm, if you're familiar with diamond painting at all, AB means Aurora Borealis, or if you're not familiar, I should say, just gives it that iridescent coating. So look at the blues, pinks, and purples on these. Oh, so pretty. 
And we have some AB Black. Now, when the black, when they're AB Black, they don't shine black. They shine real blue and green. I don't know if that's showing up on camera too well. And then we have these rounds. Again, iridescent, and they're faceted on the top. Oh, that is so pretty. I'm assuming them are going to go in here. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, let's zoom back out. Come on, Lisa, you can do it. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's see if we can get this back in. How long can we go for this long? Okay. So this will be a nice quick one. I may leave this one downstairs here instead of upstairs in my diamond painting room. I'd like to leave some quicker ones down here. I do all my large ones upstairs, but you always need to take a break once in a while from the from the big ones and you do these little snack size ones as we call them. Typically 30 by 30s or 30 by 40s are our snack size <laughs> diamond painting, especially when they're partials like this. Let's go this way so that glue isn't sticking to you. Boy, oh boy, I just am not having luck. Because this is a partial, it's sticking to that plastic that's not stuck on the canvas. Once I get it started, it'll be fine. There we go. Okay, phew. Now, where is that one? Here we go. He's so cute. I'm going to keep that one down here. Okay. We have another couple more uh, special drills. Special drill diamond paintings, I should say. Now, I love, love, love my special drill mandalas. <laughs> so here we go. Again, nice, colorful one. Same toolkit. We have, wow, we have 15 symbols in here. It is a 30 by 30. Of course, no DMC codes with the special jewels. Although I have seen some diamond paintings that do have DMC codes with their special jewels. So I don't know, maybe somewhere <laughs> there is some DMC codes to all special jewels. Would be nice to know that. I don't think there is, but. All right, let us see the pretties. So yeah, 15 different ones. So again, we'll have some rhinestones and then some special drills. We will start over here. They typically start out with the rhinestones and then go to the special drills. Now here are some large regular white. So they look like your standard white drills, only they're like double the size. I've never seen those before. And some silver rhinestones. Oh, look at that pretty orange. Here we have that reddish pink again. Yellow gold. Oh, love that blue. There is that pretty purple. Green. Oh, here's our first special. Look at those gorgeous marquee. Very long and skinny blue marquee. And we have some teardrops. Marquee again. And small, teeny tiny marquee. And in separate little babies, 
Oh, look at these really pretty blue teardrops. Those are pretty. We have some little gold dots. It <laughs> looks like dots. Looks like little BBs. Little circles. And finally, oh, this is like AB too. These are like reds and pink iridescent that's faceted on top. Isn't that pretty? Sorry for the glare. I'm sitting next to a window. Yeah, can't see it there. <laughs> oh, pretty. Pretty, pretty. Okay, let's get this packaged back up. That's going to be a fun one. I think this will be another one to leave down here. <laughs> I need to kit up and work on a small one down here. I've been working on a larger Halloween one upstairs, which I am loving doing. But yeah, it's always nice to switch off, work on a little one. So I think I may get my iron out and iron up like maybe five of these smaller ones and then I have them all ready to go. And if you're not familiar with diamond painting, I'll show you on the next one. Your drills and your canvas each have a code on them and the drill code will match up with the canvas. So if you do separate your canvas from your drills, You'll always know what drills go to what canvas. So that is this one. I love it on that black background. It's really going to make those colors pop, right? Mm. Okay, another one to keep down here. <laughs> and this one too, probably. This is another 30 by 30 special drill. Oh no. Oh, there it is. Okay. At least I can see this one. The other ones, I had a couple <laughs> that I just could not see where it opened. And this one I can see, but its tail doesn't want to open. Oh, come on. There we go. So another special drill partial. And it's not a mandala, but look at that gorgeous butterfly. Ah, all purples, blues, looks like some light pinks. We do have 10 colors. Oh, see, now this is one. Let me zoom you in. I was just talking about this. They do have DMC coats. So I have a few diamond paintings. I have no idea which ones now, though, that have the DMC codes. Um, I may just mark this on the baggie and hmm, when I have a few that I see that have DMC codes, I'm going to compare that rhinestone or that special drill against the number and just see if they're the same. <laughs> that would be interesting. So again, a 30 by 30. Well, while I have you zoomed in, we'll do those special drills. Again, standard kit with the tweezers. Then we have one more. Okay, oh, pretty, pretty. Ah, oh, it's got my favorite one here. So we have silver. My favorite rhinestone. Oh, that is so pretty. We have a pink. Look at all this blue. Oh, it's kind of like a blue violet. And then this one, this is one of my other favorites. <laughs> that cerulean blue. Ooh, real pale pink. And that's a full pack. Oh, and we have an AB full pack of black AB. Wow. 
Where is all that black going? I don't know. It's the up arrow. Yeah. So that's what outlines all the wings all the way around. Oh my gosh, is that going to be pretty? Wowie, wowie. Gorgeous. Oh, that's right. And we do have these. So we got a pearl, white round, round green, and then these smaller, oh, really pale, pale blue. That's pretty too. I don't know if I've seen those either. Not in this size round. All right, one more to go, folks. Thank you for hanging in there with me. Again, as in part one, um, I will leave a link to the company, A Diamond Painting, as well as links to these five particular diamond paintings. Here comes the challenge. <laughs> it helps when there's not so many drills. <laughs> okay. Oh, this fairy was the one for the one I couldn't get in. <laughs> that is uh, this one. That one down here. Last but not least, this is a 30 by 40 full round. <gasps> Amen. It was open. Woohoo. But this is a little bit fuller, so we'll see if we can. That sleeve wasn't too tight, though, so. Look at all these greens. This was another one I was a little hesitant on getting uh, because of the detail in the background, but let me zoom you in on the thumbnail picture that I printed out. These are kind of like in the background anyhow, so I don't think they have to be clear. It's the butterflies kind of that you want to see, and I think those are large enough where they're going to show up just fine. So, isn't that pretty? So that's what it should look like when it's done we have 24 colors in here again key code upper left lower right standard took it <laughs> nobody cares about that yeah oh such pretty colors all right all kitted up so all of these are kitted up for you with the exception of the special drill ones of course which is so, so nice. All right, let's zoom in and look at the pretties. Look at that gorgeous purple. <laughs> we have a mauve. A lot of this green. We know that's going to be a background color. Sage green. The brick red. Oh, look at these pinks. Three gorgeous pinks. I have an aqua blue. More on the green side. Aqua green. <laughs> we have a light gray. It's like a deep sage. Maroon. like a really dark warm gray tan oh look at this pair of pink oh I love this pink this is one of my favorites there's a whole bunch of these which I'm assuming is going to go down in here and we have this tan 
Oh my gosh. He's still my beating heart. <laughs> Between that pink and this purple, isn't that going to be gorgeous? For those of us who love pink and purple. <laughs> Another kind of a sage green. Warm gray. Two warm grays. Oh my gosh. And look at these three more purples. Again, I apologize for the glare. It's glaring even more now <laughs> because it's the sun's down to a point where it's glaring off my boyfriend's car right outside the window. <laughs> All right, so that is the fifth and final time in painting. Aren't they pretty? So again, I will leave the link to the company down below in the description as well as these five diamond paintings. Hopefully I will remember <laughs> to link part one if you missed the first part to see the first five diamond paintings. All right, again, I want to thank a diamond painting so much for being so generous and sending me these 10 diamond paintings to show you guys. It's very nice of them. Let's see if I can get this last and final one in the little plastic sleeve. I can do it. I can do it. I think I can. I think I can. I know I can. I know I can. Phew. So I only have that one <laughs> to try to get in uh, after the video. So, oh, so pretty. All right. So we have our beautiful butterfly. We have our fairy looking in the mirror which is the one i have to get in yet <laughs> and we have our three that i'm keeping down here our special drill mandala adorable dragon and our beautiful butterfly so thank you so much for watching this video i really do appreciate it if you enjoyed this unbagging, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. And as always, happy coloring and happy diamond painting. Bye, guys.